For those of you who have never eaten a Dungeness crab before, it's really not that difficult. All you gotta do is just pretty much break one of these legs off, and then the meat you wanna get, of course, is inside here. If you have a nutcracker, you could use that to break through the exoskeleton. If you have a actual crab cracker, you can use that to break through the exoskeleton. But you really don't need any of those things, really, if you just use your fingers or your teeth and break it apart like that. It's really not that hard to get the meat out. And then if you dip it into melted butter or with garlic and lemon, it is delicious. Uh, if like my Filipino mother-in-law, you want to do it the Filipino way, you take some garlic and you crush it really good to let all the garlic juice come out. And you just pour normal vinegar in it. And when you dip it in like so and eat it, it is delicious. As far as the rest of the crab, you can take the legs there. If you break it in half and have something to dig with, you can get some really good meat out of there too. You can get tools like this to do it, or you just use a toothpick or whatever. It really is not that hard. But there's some delicious meat in there. The yellow stuff in there that we call the crab butter, you can eat it. Uh, most people here in the States don't eat it. Uh, my beloved Filipino mother-in-law and uh, father-in-law used to eat this stuff, and it is considered a delicacy in the Philippines. But uh, so is balut. So <laughs> you can add crab butter to the list of things that I, I generally take a pass on. But uh, you can eat it, and uh, you can Google up balut, or you can ask your Filipino friends what it is. But either way, it's just a really delicious thing to enjoy with a uh, hot or cold beverage of your choice. Uh, that is appropriate for your age. And uh, I wish you a happiness and joy in all you do. Thanks.